Hello, I just uh, wanted to uh, correct some nonsense to show you you can have the best technology in the world yet still have no idea what it is you're looking at. Um, these are new images, high resolution images, the highest ever of the sun from the high C imager from NASA which is high coronal imaging and uh, they think they've found something completely new and fascinating and they specifically called it threads of plasma. They literally think that these are images of uh, plasma themselves. Well, the entirety of all of it, of course, and this is a close-up of what they've uh, seen from the sun, all of this is plasma, both the uh, dark stripes and light stripes. They think that these dark stripes are concentrations of plasma. They keep referring to them as threads, and you know, this is fascinating, and so on and so forth. They go on, but they have no idea what they're looking at. It's no different than if I were to ignorantly make a statement that these uh, these uh, lines underneath the uh, supercell are lines of light or lines of ferrofluid, like ferrofluidic concentration. That's not true at all. They're constructive and destructive lines of interference. The uh, light is everywhere present, but the destructive interference is, of course, the darker areas. The constructive interference, of course, is the lighter areas. So these are not actual bands, but you know, if you're someone that uh, is extremely myopic and ignorant, as are these uh, scientists, which they are, these actually look like, quote-unquote, threads of plasma. Well, they're not. This uh, spot, by the way, this entire spot right here, is about uh, somewhere on the order of like 15, size, 15 times the size of the Earth. Okay, so like dead center right here, that would be the size of the Earth. So this is an incredibly powerful uh, play between uh, two inverse polarity sunspots that are in close proximity to each other and the incredibly powerful, I mean literally we're talking about a magnet that's 15, or I mean, somewhere around 15 times the size of the earth, is causing constructive and destructive lines of interference from the sun, the light of the sun. So instead of ferrofluid, what we're working with is plasma. This is ferrofluid. That's uh, the medium through which the magnetic uh, constructive and destructive interference is interplaying. But the light is everywhere present here. It's just that the black spots, the black stripes, if you will, on uh, this image or this image, for example, um, would make you superficially and ignorantly assume that, you know, hey, the light is only present here or the ferrofluid is only present there. And, that's just simply not true. So that's what these these uh, ultra brilliant scientists with their high C uh, imager think that they've actually seen. But you know they're about half right, but they're ultimately still entirely wrong. The only thing they're looking at. Let me actually tilt this for the correct polar uh, polar orientation. They're just looking at this. This is all they're looking at. They're looking at the hyperbolic and toroidal geometry of constructive and destructive interference between magnetic centrifugal divergence and centripetal dielectric convergence between a magnet between two uh, very close proximity sunspots that are literally you know, collectively many magnitudes larger than that of the earth itself so no these are not threads of plasma mister uh, goofball scientists these are constructive and destructive lines of interference that are quote-unquote painted by the light of the sun as it passes through the incredibly powerful magnetic field of which the medium is the plasma, but the plasma is everywhere present. They're not present in threads and absent in the lighter areas. That's not the case at all. So I'm glad I could clear that up. This is what happens when you have trillions of dollars of uh, very fascinating scientific equipment. But you have uh, drunk monkeys interpreting the images and results thereof. Thank you. Mic drop.